हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स वी विल स्टार्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम द सोशल फार्मेसी दैट इज द न्यूट्रिशन एंड द हेल्थ सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज मीन बाय न्यूट्रिशन व्हिच आर द डिफरेंट न्यूट्रिएंट्स व्हाट इज मीन बाय हेल्थ इन द टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स वी हैव सीन द मैक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स एंड द प्रोटीन्स and now we will start for the micronutrients so vitamins and the different types of minerals come under the category of micronutrients because they are required our body in a minute quantities or in a small quantities so they are known as a micronutrients so first are the vitamins so what is mean by vitamins विटामिन दिस वर्ड इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द टू वर्ड्स दैट इज द विटाल एंड द अमाइंस दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स दिस आर द विटाल और द वेरी इसेंशियल फॉर द अवर फॉर अवर बॉडी अगेन दे आर केमिकली अमाइन इन नेचर सो दे आर नोन एज द विटामिन्स ऑल्सो द विटामिन्स आर डिफाइन एज दिज आर द स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स प्रेजेंट इन अ डाइट विच आर रिक्वायर्ड इन अ स्मॉल अमाउंट so most of the vitamins are not synthesized in the body and hence they must be supplied in a diet generally syn- vitamins these are not synthesized by our body so we have to take them from our diet however few vitamins are synthesized in body though most of them are present in a diet as such some are present in a precursors so these precursor forms of vitamins are called as a pro vitamins and in the body this pro vitamins are converted to the vitamins okay so what i said generally vitamins are not synthesized in our body so they are taken from a diet but some vitamins can be synthesized in our body in our body and this such type of vitamins are present in diets as a pro vitamins so when this pro vitamins are taken in our body they are converted into the vitamins with the help of certain enzymes okay so either vitamins are pro vitamins or a vitamins pro vitamins can be converted into vitamins in our body with a certain chemical reaction or with the help of certain enzymes so pro vitamins these are the precursor form of the vitamins they these pro vitamins are also taken from the diet or vitamins can be taken from the diet so here it is a classification of vitamins so vitamins are basically classified depending on their solubilities so two classes are the fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins again the fat soluble vitamins are the vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and the vitamin k so generally they has some properties like these are the fat soluble or these vitamins get solubilize or get miscible with the fats also they require the bile salts for their absorption generally these fat soluble vitamins are stored in liver these fat soluble vitamins are again stable at the normal cooking conditions or at the normal cooking temperature and generally these vitamins are excreted in the feces so all these are the properties of the fat soluble vitamins next are the water soluble vitamins okay so the water soluble vitamins includes the different types of vitamin b or collectively they are known as the vitamin b complex again there are eight type of vitamin b such as vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and the b so collectively all these vitamin b are known as a vitamin b complex second water soluble vitamin is the vitamin c so which are the properties of these water soluble vitamins first they has a water solubility means they get dissolved in a water again except vitamin b12 others are not stored so in our body all the vitamins are stored in our in our body again these water soluble vitamins are unstable at the normal cooking temperature or they get 
disintegrated or decompose at the cooking temperature they are not stable and generally these water soluble vitamins are excreted through the urine okay so we will see what is the biological importance of these vitamins why vitamins are essential or what is the importance of these vitamins for our health or for our body first thing the vitamins are essential for the growth then the maintenance and the reproduction and they are not used for the energy production as such these vitamins do not produces or give energy to our body just they are essential or they take part in a all chemical reactions or the all cellular cellular activities such as the growth their maintenance and the reproduction of the body so they are very essential or the vital nutrients for our body growth maintenance and the reproduction so fat soluble vitamins are required for the normal color vision then the blood clotting bone formation and the maintenance of the membrane structure again most of the water soluble vitamins function as a coenzymes or a prosthetic group of a several enzymes involved in a carbohydrate lipid and the amino acid metabolism okay so all the fat soluble vitamins uh, such as vitamin a vitamin d k e and the k all has a different type of functions or they involved in the different normal functions like the color vision blood clotting then the bone formation and the maintenance of the cell membrane structure again the water soluble vitamins they act as a coenzymes or a prosthetic group prosthetic group means it is a non amino acid component of the structure of the conjugated proteins and they involved in the metabolism of carbohydrate lipids and the amino acids again vitamin a and vitamin d act as a steroid hormones then the deficiency of the fat soluble vitamins produces a night blindness skeletal deformation hemorrhages and the hemolysis okay so if there is a deficiency of the fat soluble vitamins it again leads to the night blindness okay or the skeletal deformations or there is a deformities in the bones or the skeleton hemorrhages or the hemolysis the blood cells get dis- destroyed that is known as the hemolysis again the deficiency of the water soluble vitamins produces beriberi then the glossitis pellagra microcytic anemia megaloblastic anemia and the scurvy so the different type of water soluble vitamin deficiency produces the different diseases like the beriberi the microcytic anemia microcytic anemia means the rbc's size gets smaller or there is a hypochromic rbc's which has a less color and generally it occurs due to the iron deficiency also again it leads to the megaloblastic anemia means the size of rbc's get enlarged and the number of rbc's get decrease again some vitamins analog are used as a drug for example folic acid analog are used as a anti cancer agent and the antibiotics agent so certain vitamins like folic acid has a similar structure to the different types of drugs so folic acid has a same structure as the anti cancer and the antibiotic drugs then moderate consumption of some vitamin is found to decrease occurrence or the severity of some diseases for example the carotenes vitamin e and the vitamin d consumption at a moderate level reduces the incidence of the cancer and a cardiovascular diseases if we take all the vitamins di- in a diet in a moderate quantity or in a required quantity then again it can reduces the risk of different diseases like the cancer and the cardiovascular diseases again the consumption of vitamin c is a significant amount reduces the severity of cold so vitamin c boost our immunity again this slow down the aging process also 
and the excessive consumption of a fat soluble vitamins leads to the toxicity so we have to take all the vitamins in a adequate amount or in a required amount if their amount get exceeded then again it may produces the toxicity also then the vitamin b12 folic acid and the vitamin b6 are beneficial to the coronary artery diseases patient and they lower the plasma hemocystin level so all these are the biological importance of the vitamins so we have to take vitamins in our diet in adequate quantity it regulates the different processes in our body the deficiency may lead to the different type of diseases also the over consumption of these vitamins leads to the toxicity so we have to take all the vitamins in a proper or in a adequate required amount so let's we will see each type of vitamin in that we will see which are the sources of that vitamin which are the functions and which are the deficiency diseases of all the vitamins one by one so first are the fat soluble vitamins as i said fat soluble vitamins get solubilized with the fats in that the first vitamin is a vitamin a so vitamin a has a three forms such as the retinol which is a vitamin a alcohol then the retinal which is a vitamin a aldehyde and the retinoic acid which is a vitamin a acid so vitamin a is found in a three forms such as alcohol aldehyde and the acid so it has a three different names like retinol which is alcohol retinal which is a aldehyde and the retinoic acid which is a acid so which are the different sources of this vitamin a or which from which sources we get vitamin a first are the animal sources in that the different marine fish oils like halibut liver oil then the cod liver oil and the shark liver oils are the excellent sources of the vitamin a then the liver of sheep or the goat is also excellent source then the butter egg and the milk are again a good source of vitamin so all these are the animal source of the vitamin a next are the plant sources so in plant foods vitamin a is present as a carotenes then the plant oil like the red plum oil is a excellent source then the different leafy vegetables like coriander leaves curry leaves spinach and the cabbage are the good sources then the yellow vegetables like the carrot pumpkin pumpkin and the sweet potatoes and the ripe tomatoes also contain the appropriate appropriate uh, appreciable amounts of the vitamin a then the different fruits like the yellow pigmented fruits such as papaya mango jackfruit banana oranges also contain the vitamin a in a good amounts so all these are the sources from which we get a vitamin a then the next one is which are the functions of vitamin a first thing is the vitamin a is required for the normal and the color vision vitamin a is required for the synthesis of the retinal pigments which are involved in a vision so vitamin a is required for the normal vision and the color vision again the retinol is required for the reproduction and the growth retinol is a required for the differentiation and the function as a steroid hormone then the retinoic acid is required for the synthesis of glycoprotein and the mucopolysaccharides so glycoproteins are again a proteins which contain a different oligosaccharides or the carbohydrates in their structure again the mucopolysaccharide these are the long chain of the sugar molecule which are found in a mucus and a fluid around the joints again the retinoic acid also acts as a steroid hormone it also promote the growth and the differentiation then the retinol and the retinoic acid are involved in a regulation of the gene expression so all these are the functions of the vitamin a so the main function of vitamin a is a normal vision again it controls or it is required for the normal reproduction and the growth again it act as a steroid hormone again it is involved in the regulation of the gene expression 
then the daily requirement of vitamin E in a normal adult is a 5000 international units daily again during the puberty pregnancy and the lactation its requirement increases from the 6000 to the 8000 international units daily so these are the daily requirement of vitamin A the next are next one is which are the different deficiency diseases of the vitamin A if in our body if we has a deficiency of vitamin A then we has the different diseases like first one is a night blindness as vitamin A is involved in the normal vision if there is a deficiency of vitamin A it again leads to the night blindness that is known as a poor adaptation in a darkness again growth of bone and the formation of bone or the tooth are defective okay the bone or the teeth formation get defected again the nerve growth also affected there is a abnormal growth of the nerves then keratinization of the mucus secreting epithelial cell which is known as a hyperkeratosis that is the lining of respiratory tract and the reproductive tract occur so either mucus lining of the respiratory tract or in a reproductive tract there are the white patches are formed or it is also known as the keratinization or the hyperkeratosis Due to, the, due to the excessive deposition of the keratin in the mucous membrane so that the mucous secretion by the salivary gland and the lacrimal gland is also affected then deposition of keratin in a skin gives rise to the characteristic toad skin appearance or it forms the dryness of the skin then the reproductive disorders like the testicular degeneration then the resorption of the fetus or the fetal malformations are observed as vitamin A is required for the normal reproduction and the growth if there is a deficiency it may again lead to the testicular degeneration in the males then resorption of the fetus or the fetal malformations or the different deformities get formed in a fetus again it may forms a degenerative changes in a kidneys again it leads to the xerophthalmia that is the dryness of the eyes then the keratomalacia which is known as a black portion of the eyes get perforated or it loses its transparency and if the condition worsens it may leads to the permanent blindness so all these are the deficiency diseases of the vitamin E. Next one is the vitamin E. Chemically vitamin E is known as a tocopherol. And all these tocopherol are the alkaline sensitive and their vitamin activity is destroyed by the oxidation. Then the cooking and the food processing may destroy the vitamin A to the some extent also. So vitamin A are known as the tocopherols. Okay. So which are the functions of vitamin E? First one is the alpha tocopherol in a cell membrane and the cytosol function. So alpha tocopherol in a cell membrane and the cytosol function as an antioxidant. Again, it is present in a high concentration in the tissues which are exposed to the O2 pressure like erythrocytes, lung and the retina. So, it acts as a chain breaking antioxidant. So, main function of vitamin A that is it acts as a antioxidant. That is it prevents the oxidation of different type of nutrients in our body. So, vitamin A is present in a high concentration where the high O2 pressure is occur like in erythrocytes, lungs and the retina. So, here the requirement of vitamin A is higher because there is a high O2 or the oxygen pressure in these areas or in the parts of this body. Again, vitamin E is involved in the maintenance of the muscle tone 
मसल टोन मीन्स नॉर्मल रिलैक्सेशन एंड द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द मसल्स अगेन विटामिन ई इंक्रीजेस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ द हिम प्रोटीन्स सो हिम प्रोटीन दैट कंटेन्स द हिम प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप अगेन विटामिन ई प्रिवेंट्स द डायट्री विटामिन ए एंड द कैरोटीन्स फ्रॉम द ऑक्सीडेटिव डैमेज सो विटामिन ए ऑल्सो प्रिवेंट्स द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ विटामिन ए एंड द कैरोटीन और इट प्रोटेक्ट्स द विटामिन ए एंड कैरोटीन्स फ्रॉम द ऑक्सीडेशन सो विटामिन ए इज ऑल्सो यूज इन द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ एबॉर्शंस और इन द सर्टन मेनेस्ट्रियल डिसऑर्डर्स एंड इन द इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ द लैक्टेशन सो विटामिन ए इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फंक्शनल फीचर्स ऑफ द स्मूथ मसल्स कार्डियक मसल्स एंड द स्केलेटन मसल सो विटामिन ए इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अ एंटी स्टरेलिटी हार्मोन और एंटी स्टरेलिटी विटामिन द नेक्स्ट विच आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ दिस विटामिन ई विटामिन ई इज कंटेन इन द डिफरेंट सीरियल्स दैन द जर्म्स लाइक वीट जर्म ऑइल कॉन जर्म ऑइल एंड द वेजिटेबल ऑइल्स लाइक द कोकोनट ऑइल सनफ्लावर ऑइल पीनट ऑइल दैन द राइस ब्रान ऑइल पाम ऑइल मस्टर्ड ऑइल कॉटन सीड ऑइल एंड द सोयाबीन ऑइल आर रिच सोर्सेस ऑफ द विटामिन ई अगेन द डिफरेंट वेजिटेबल फ्रूट्स एंड द मीट आर लेयर आर रिलेटिवली लो फॉर द पुअर सोर्सेस ऑफ द विटामिन ई दैन विटामिन ए डिफिशियंसी लीड्स टू द डेथ ऑफ द फिटर्स इन द यूटेरस एंड स्टरिलिटी इन अ मेल्स एंड अ फीमेल्स इन अ लोअर एनिमल्स इफ देर इज अटा डिफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन ई इट लीड्स टू द डेथ ऑफ फिटर्स अगेन इट लीड्स टू द स्टरिलिटी इन द मेल्स ऑल्सो इन अ फीमेल्स द डेली रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ विटामिन ए इज टेन एम जी डेली फॉर अ नॉर्मल अडल्ट so so this is about the vitamin A and the vitamin E next one is a vitamin D vitamin D is also known as a sunshine vitamin there are again two active forms of the vitamin D that is vitamin D2 which is known as a ergo calciferol and vitamin D3 which is known as a cole calciferol so vitamin d vitamin d2 and vitamin d3 are synthesized from the different type of sterols such as the ergosterol and the cholesterol in presence of sunlight so in presence of sunlight the ergosterol get converted into the vitamin d2 that is ergo calciferol and the cholesterol which is get converts into vitamin d3 that is a cole calciferol so calcitriol is the most active form of vitamin d that act as a steroid hormone and they are formed from the pro vitamins such as a sterol okay so vitamin d has a two forms that is ergo calciferol which is vitamin d2 and cole calciferol which is the vitamin d3 so these two forms are synthesized from the pro vitamins so known as the sterols so ergo sterol get converts into ergo calciferol in presence of sunlight and the cholesterol get converts into the cole calciferol in presence of sunlight so generally vitamin d is synthesized with the help of sunlight so this is known as a sunshine vitamin so which are the different functions of this vitamin d first one is it increases the absorption of calcium and the phosphate in the intestine particularly in the duodenum and the jejunum so vitamin d is very useful or helpful for the absorption of vitamin absorption of the calcium and the phosphorus in the bones so it is required for the bone formation and the mineralization of the bones so it increases the synthesis of osteocalcin which is a calcium binding protein of the bone and this osteocalcin is involved in the deposition of the calcium salt in a bone okay so vitamin d ja hai the osteocalcin binding protein 
सिंथेसिस करना हेल्पफुल आहे आणि जो का कैल्शियम है तो ऑस्टिओ कैल्सिनला बाउंड होते है आणि बोन्स में डिपॉजिट होते है सो विटैमीन डी ये जनरली विट बोन्स फॉर्मेसन कि बोन्स मिनरलाइजेसन करना हेल्पफुल है सो विथ द हेल्प ऑफ विटैमीन डी द कैल्शियम एंड द फॉस्फेट गेट अब्जॉर्ब इन टू द बोन्स अगेन इट रिड्यूसेस द एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड द फॉस्फरस सो विटैमीन डी इज इन्वॉल्व इन द मेन्टेनस ऑफ द नॉर्मल मसल टोन दैट इज रिलैक्जेशन एंड द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द बोन्स देन द कैल्सि ट्रायल इज एन इम्युनो रेग्युलेटरी हार्मोन इट स्टिम्युलेट्स द सेल मेडिएटेड इम्युनिटी एंड इट प्लेट्स अ विटैल रोल इन अ मोनोसाइट एंड द मैक्रोफेज एक्टिवेशन सो मोनोसाइट एंड द मैक्रोफेजेस दीज आर द सेल्स इन्वॉल्व इन अ फैगोसाइटोसि और इन अ इम्युनिटी मेकैनिजम्स सो इनडायरेक्टली विटैमीन डी इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द बुस्टिंग अवर इम्युनिटी देन विच आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ द विटैमीन डी सो विटैमीन डी इज मोस्टली प्रेजेंट इन अ फूड्स ऑफ द एनिमल ओरिजिन सच एज द मराइन फिश लिवर ऑइल्स लाइक द हेलिपट लिवर ऑइल कॉल लिवर ऑइल एंड द शार्क लिवर ऑइल विच आर द गुड सोर्सेस देन द सार्डिन्स विच आर अ टाइप ऑफ फिश देन द एग योल एंड द बटर कंटेन्स अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ विटैमीन डी अगेन द मिल्क इज ऑल्सो पुअर सोर्स ऑफ विटैमीन डी देन द मशरूम कंटेन अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ विटैमीन डी ओके ऑल दीज आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ विटैमीन डी अगेन द डेली रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ विटैमीन डी इज वन थाउजेंड इंटरनैशनल यूनिट्स डेली फॉर अ हेल्दी अडल्ट सो विच डिफिशियसी सिम्टम्स ऑकर ड्यू टू द विटैमीन डी डिफिशियसी फर्स्ट वन इज द रिकेट्स ओके सो रिकेट्स जनरली ऑकर्स इन अ चिल्ड्रन विच रिजल्ट इन टू द सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ द बोन्स एंड दिस लीड्स टू द डिफॉर्मिटीज इन अ स्कल चेस्ट स्पाइन लेग्स एंड द पेलवीज सो रिकेट्सी इज अ डिज विच इज जनरली ऑकर इन अ चिल्ड्रन दैट इज द बोन गेट बिकम सॉफ्टन और देर आर इजी फ्रैक्चर्स एट द बोन्स और डिफॉर्मिटीज इन द बोन ऑफ द स्कल चेस्ट स्वाइन लेग्स एंड द पेलवीज द नेक्स्ट इज ऑस्टिओ कैल्शिया सॉरी ऑस्टिओ मैलेशिया सो विटैमीन डी डिफिशियसी कॉजेज द ऑस्टिओ मैलेशिया इन अडल्ट so it is seen in a pregnant woman and the woman with the inappropriate diet so there is a pain in a skeleton deformities of the ribs spine pelvis and the leg are seen so generally rickets is occur in a childrens and osteomalacia occurs in a adults the next one is the osteoporosis again this osteoporosis occurs in old people so photolysis of the pro vitamins decreases with age and this and together with the decrease sex hormone production may lead to the deficiency so generally symptoms of this osteoporosis are the pain in the bones then the porous bones okay and the bone fractures are common so generally if there is a deficiency of vitamin d then there is a softening of the bone or the porosity of the bone get increase density of bone get decrease and there is a easy malformation deformities or the fractures in the bones so generally generally the rickets see this occurs in a children's osteomalacia occur in adults and the osteoporosis occur in old peoples the next vitamin is a vitamin k so chemically vitamin k is a quinones so vitamin k again has a two forms that is vitamin k1 and the vitamin k2 the vitamin k is known as a phyloquinone which is the major form of the vitamin found in a plants particularly in the green leafy vegetables the next form is the vitamin k2 which is known as a menaquinone which is present in animals and synthesized by the intestinal flora सो जनरली विटैमीन के से दोन टाइप है विटैमीन के वन आ विटैमीन के टू विटैमीन के वन इज नोन एज अ फाइलोक्यूनोन 
कि जो जनरली एनिमल सोर्सेस म सॉरी विटैमीन के वन है जनरली प्लांट्स मे अवेलेबल है कि ग्रीन लिफी वेजिटेबल्स मे प्रेजेंट आत विटैमीन के टू विच इज नोन एज अ मेना क्यूनोन जनरली विटैमीन के टू है एनिमल्स मधे अवेलेबल आत कि अपना इंटेस्टनल फ्लोरा मधे सिंथेसाइज के सो विच आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ दिस विटैमीन के इट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन अ कॉलीफ्लॉवर कैबेज स्पिनाच देन द टर्निप ग्रीन्स दैट इज द ब्रोकोली पीज एंड द सी बीन सोयाबीन्स विच आर द रिच सोर्सेस देन द डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक चीज बटर देन द फार्म प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक द एग्स एंड द लिवर आर द गुड सोर्सेस सो विच आर द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस विटैमीन के जनरली विटैमीन के प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन अ ब्लड क्लॉटिंग बिकॉज विटैमीन के इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ डिफरंट क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स सो विटैमीन के इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ ब्लड क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स लाइक प्रोथ्रॉम्बीन विच इज अ फैक्टर टू देन द को थ्रॉम्बोप्लास्टीन विच इज अ फैक्टर सेवेन देन द फैक्टर नाइन एंड द फैक्टर टेन अगेन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द कार्बोजाइलेशन ऑफ द गैमा कार्बन एटम टू द ग्लुटामिक रेसिड्यूज ऑफ द फैक्टर्स एंड द गैमा कार्बोक्सलेशन जनरेट्स द कैल्शियम बाइंडिंग साइट विच इज अ इसेंशियल फॉर द ब्लड क्लॉटिंग प्रोसेसेस सो जनरली विटैमीन के जे है तो ब्लड क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स सिंथेसिस करना प्रोसेस मधे हेल्पफुल है तैत ब्लड क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स सिंथेसाइज होता है और नंतर ब्लड क्लॉटिंग के लिए जता है सो डिफरंट क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स लाइक प्रोथ्रॉम्बीन है कि को थ्रॉम्बोप्लास्टीन है देन फैक्टर नाइन कि फैक्टर टेन हा डिफरंट फैक्टर्स सिंथेसिस विटैमीन के सा इम्पॉर्टंट रोल है सो इनडाइरेक्टली विटैमीन के इज इन्वॉल्व इन द ब्लड क्लॉटिंग प्रोसेस सो दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ द विटैमीन के देन वॉट एपन इफ देर इज अ विटैमीन डे के डिफिशियसी फर्स्ट वन इज अ हिमोरेजेस इन अ न्यू बॉम्स इज अ मोस्ट कॉमन विटैमीन के डिफिशियसी सीमटम्स दैट इज अ अनकंट्रोल ब्लीडिंग थ्रू द नोज विच इज नोन एज इपिटैक्सिस एंड द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टनल ट्रैक इज लाइकली ऑकर हाउ एवर इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड सक्सेसफुली विथ इंट्रामस्क्युलर इंजेक्शन ऑफ द विटैमीन के हिमोरेजेस मीन्स देर इज अ ब्लड फ्लो थ्रू द डिफरंट साइट्स लाइक द ब्लीडिंग थ्रू द नोज इन द गैस ब्लीडिंग इन द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टनल ट्रैक अगेन इन अडल्ट द विटैमीन के डिफिशियसी इज रेयरली ऑकर्स हाउ आर द हाउ एवर द प्रोलॉन्ग यूज ऑफ द एंटीबायोटिक्स मे कॉज द विटैमीन के डिफिशियसी ड्यू टू द इलेमिनेशन ऑफ द इंटेस्टनल फ्लोरा जस कि आप बगित विटैमीन के टू जे है तो इंटेस्टनल फ्लोरा मधे सिंथेसाइज के जेव एखाद अडल्ट पर्सन कंटिन्ुअसली एंटीबायोटिक्स का डोज घर तेव मैक्रोबीएल फ्लोरा जो का इंटेस्टाइन मध्य है तो डिस्टर्ब के जो कि तो रिमूव के जो तो फ्लोरा प्रेजेंट नसा मु विटैमीन के सिंथेसि कमी होता सो अभी इट लीड्स टू द विटैमीन के डिफिशियसी सो हियर वी हैव सीन द विटैमीन ए विटैमीन डी विटैमीन ई एंड द विटैमीन के विच आर द फैट सोल्यूबल विटैमिन्स इन दैट वी हैव सीन विच आर द डिफरंट सोर्सेस विच आर द फंक्शन एंड द विच आर डिफरंट deficiency diseases and the daily requirement of all these vitamins so you have to make a chart and you have to categorize all this type of vitamins in their functions sources and the deficiency diseases okay so he lecture i learn nantar tumhala kay karaycha hai ek chart taiyar kara tyachyamadhe vitamin a d e ani k liha tanche different sources फंक्शन्स आ डिफिशियसी डिजेस है तुम्हारा चार्ट फॉर्म मे तैयार कराए दिस इज द होमवर्क फॉर यू ओके हा होमवर्क करूँ जार जो का अपना व्हाट्सअप ग्रुप है तैयारी तुम्हारा है कंपलसरी शेयर कराए विथ युअर नो नेम एंड द रोल नंबर ओके तुम्हारा का ही समझ लसेल तो तुम्हें मैं कभी ही विचारू शकता स्लाइड्स आ पी डी एफ नोट्स तुम्हारा मी शेयर करेन ओके सो फॉर एनी डाउट फॉर द डिफिकल्टी यू कैन आस्क मी एट एनी टाइम ओके सो नाउ वी विल स्टॉप हियर एंड द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ द वॉटर सोल्युबल विटैमिन्स ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर युअर अटेन्शन ओके थैंक यू